Okay, <clears throat> namaste. Well, I wanted to do a quick update uh, when working with that uh, Josh, Joshua Brian Smith decided, you know, that I would turn him over to people we, we work with on the other side to do some counseling with him. And, uh, you know, this is, it looks like I'm segueing into something else again. <laughs> I'm like, oh, where, where is this coming from? But um, anyway, so I just asked Joshua what's going on now. How are things on the other side? And he just, uh, what he sent here, here are the cards that come out. The well, he's, instead of diving into the ocean to kill himself, <laughs> okay, now he's diving into the ocean of truth, okay? So he's seeking truth, wisdom, insight, intuitive knowing, returning to the source, getting to the bottom of things, okay? So he is participating in that, okay? looking for the brighter things for the sun for those things of benefit starting to have that message of love that message of opening up to the universe okay and he's with them on the other side taking everything from the source and joining in that celebration of that Okay, going forward. So right now he's the, the hangman. He's just hanging there, <laughs> hanging out. I'm hanging out there and on the other side, getting worked with uh, to so that he's ready to transition and to go forward in a more beneficial way. So that's a good thing. So I'm happy to say that Joshua, Joshua Brian Smith, is uh, getting some aid on the other side and um, he'll continue to work on that and go forward. So uh, Lord only knows if I'm gonna be drug into a new aspect of things here again. Uh, now this is the first one that I've done like this and, and was in the middle of the reading and going, well, wait a minute, Why, we work all the time with ones that have left the body and they've been out of the body for quite some time and they come and uh, we access what's going on with them and I turn them over to helpers. Now I have some helpers that are still in body. I have, uh, there's, uh, let's see, one sadvi that's living up in the Himalayas. I have a Himalayan master that's still in body and uh, quite a few on the other side that want to work with people you know, uh, Christ and Mary comes through a lot to uh, work with some people, especially when Siddhananda's here. She she is more, now Siddhananda is more of the psychic. She can tune in to them and give the expression of what they are saying. So that's the way that works. She gives the expression of what they are saying, and then I can give them guidance and hook them up with teachings and uh, teachers on the other side and give them some starting practices, some things if they request it. Um, <clears throat> and we work with all sorts of, uh, all, all sorts of levels of uh, spirituality. You know, it's not always Christian based or Hindu based, whatever. It's, uh, we turn them on to the one that can most best work with that individual to move them forward in their existence. Yes, it's the same thing. You leave the body and you still carry your stuff and sometimes they will come. So what, what, I can't believe I'm talking about this right now here, but they will come with the same kind of concerns they had when they were on the earth plane, some of them. And uh, light and truth is always available, but sometimes they're so caught up in the thing that they don't see it, that they can just ask for it and somebody will be there to aid them. So sometimes it takes them coming and uh, working with them to get them to uh, give them a message, something that they can come out of their mind spin long enough that they can open to getting help 
And at that point, you know, uh, I turned them over <laughs> to spirit. <laughs> Just work with them over there, okay? <laughs> I have enough, we have enough working with people in body form here. So I turned them over. Um, to, to get help. Sometimes they come, they just want to be in the energy here and they, they will come and hang out. Um, they'll, they'll come and hang out and that happens too. So anyway, but today I'm happy to say that Joshua is uh, starting, he's coming out of that, that morose identification you know, he sees that he's there, he's fine. You know, there's no pain anymore, there's no drama, and he doesn't need to hold on to this stuff. You, you know, he has, uh, there's the ability to let go and to understand there is another direction. There is another direction that, that you can go in, okay? So at this point, he's diving into something much better than he did when he was here. <laughs> which caused an end to his form <laughs> and his ability to interact in this plane. He, he abdicated that, gave that up. Um, but now he's diving into the well. He's diving into the well of looking for truth and wisdom and getting to the bottom of things rather than deflecting and stuff. So that's so that again that's why the other card came up that it's time for healing okay balanced on the scales and it's time now he's ready now to hear that message and ready to uh start to go forward he's coming out of the pity party <laughs> doesn't afford you anything to stay in the pity party okay so he is now going forward so i'm so happy for that that joshua is uh going to uh segue into something better okay <laughs> so namaste thank you for sharing that joshua <laughs> and, and uh yeah hopefully uh the next time he goes into reincarnation that he's got a better start a better understanding and he can go forward uh to realization and total you know uh coming into that alignment with the divine is okay thank you namaste